I lost my oldest brother, Anthony Jason Perez, in 2004 from accidental carbon monoxide poisoning that had leaked from the vehicle's exhaust while he was sitting outside in an open parking lot in front of Starbucks, uh, talking with a friend, as usual. Um, I was 15 at the time, and he was 25. My mom actually found TCF. Uh, it was about three months after my brother had passed, and we went to the first local meeting together, the chapter meeting. She continued to go to these meetings, um, which was comforting because she found a group that she could relate with. Um, for me, however, and my brother who had also gone, um, it was a bit more difficult for us to relate because they did not have a siblings group. Um, but I still, from time to time, would pop in whenever I felt like my cup was full. It gave me a place to go where um, I could release and not be in judgment. Um, still feel somewhat supported by the grieving parents in the circle. Um, for me, however, my true introduction to the Compassionate Friends was seven years after my loss when I attended my first national conference in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Um, my mom had actually wanted to go by herself. She had been with TCF already for many years um, with their monthly meetings, and she built up the courage to go. And I jumped in on her trip last minute. I said, you, you are not the best with directions. I am going to go with you. Um, a little bit of fear for her. And I think some underlying curiosity for me at the end of it all. Um, and that was the turning point for me. Um, I was introduced to all the various siblings from around the country. Uh, from their respective groups, and I finally got that sense that I was home, that I was not alone. For seven years, I was really navigating this on my own with whatever it was that I thought I needed, um, isolating myself from friends or, you know, just exploring all these different ways of how to express myself, which ultimately was not really giving me the outlet that I needed to um, face my story. And TCF helped me in my grief journey by not only um, helping me find um, other individuals who had gone through similar loss, you know, it gave me that sense of community, but it also reinstilled hope in a brighter tomorrow for me. Um, everyone coming from different timelines, from different stories of loss and experiences and backgrounds. And it made me realize that we were, we were not um, sort of the black sheep of this world, which is how I was starting to feel in my own life. Um, I was isolated from friends. I couldn't really talk to anyone. And um, this really helped me in making the shift to redefining my new normal, um, to being able to build off of the new life that I was um, creating that I was resistant to accept for many reasons, you know, because of our pain, but that I knew needed to happen. And through TCF support, I was able to take that first step in looking at my loss from a different perspective. It doesn't go away. Grief is not something that we get over. It's something that we get through and how we get through it changes year after year with where we're at, when we're ready to receive that next step in our life. And hopefully it continues to grow us in a positive and hopeful way where we can continue to pay it forward and be of service and compassion to others.